really mean, mean Johnny Green. Hey, did I tell you he was mean? Man, he told you not to pick that dude. But his team, man, they suck. Well, his arm's more suited for flipping burgers. You picked a Browns player? <laughs> You're an idiot. Welcome to week eight of Mean Johnny Green. It's the Halloween edition. That is a sweet pink shirt, my friend. Let's jump right in as it's a busy week. We've got six teams on a bye. Atlanta, Baltimore, Chicago, Cleveland, the G-Men of New York, and Philadelphia all have an off week. All right, let's jump into the quarterback treats. Like, share. I like Ryan Fitzpatrick at Kansas City. Three touchdown passes against a tough Ravens defense. You have my attention, friend. I also like Matthew Stafford at home versus Washington. This one's a little bit risky as he's returning from an injury, but he's got a lot of options, and there are six teams on a bye. Some running back treats that are sure to sell through the competition are LeGarrette Blunt at Arizona. LeGarrette is coming on strong in Tampa, and with the 29th ranked rush defense of Arizona, he'll have a chance to put up some points this week. I also like Chris Wells versus Tampa Bay in the very same game. Like Blunt, he's coming on strong as well. And luckily for him, Tampa Bay's run defense is even worse than the Redbirds. Some delicious options I like at the wide receiver position include Mike Williams, the Seattle version. He's coming off back-to-back -back strong performances and he takes on Oakland this week. That should be money in the bank. I also like Blair White at home versus Philly. Receiving options are dropping like flies in Indy and I expect White to take over the Anthony Gonzalez, Austin Collie role in that offense. All right, let's talk tight ends. I'm talking Bo Scaife at San Diego. I think the emergence of Kenny Britt could force teams to double team him. Opening up the middle for my man Bo Scaife. Some treats on defense include Kansas City at home versus Buffalo. Kansas City in back to back weeks? I don't know about that. The boys from Buffalo did find a little bit of a passing attack, but hell, they're still the boys from Buffalo. I'll pass. I also like Tampa Bay at Arizona. Tampa Bay can't stop the run, so I look for them to load up and give it their best effort. And since Arizona is a mess at quarterback, they got no chance of beating them otherwise. <laughs> All right, well that's it for the treats for week eight. Let's move on to the soury bitterness of the tricks. At the quarterback position, Kyle Orton travels to San Francisco. He's coming off back-to-back -back poor showings, and Sean Moreno has returned to the ground game. So I look for a little bit more of a balanced attack. For this week, Kyle Orton, you're dead to me. At the running back position, Ryan Matthews takes on Tennessee from start to sit in just one week for Matthews. He's averaging less than 10 carries a game, and he's not even getting the goal line duties. Until something else gives, Ryan Matthews, you're dead to me. This week's trick at the wide receiver position is Brandon Lloyd at San Francisco. For the exact same reasons I dislike Kyle Orton, I dislike Brandon Lloyd. And for that, you're dead to me. At the tight end position, Mercedes Lewis travels to Dallas. Lewis has five TD grabs on the year, which is nice. However, unless he reaches pay dirt, he's pretty much useless. And that won't happen this week. So Mercedes Lewis, you're dead to me. This week's trick on defense is New Orleans at home versus Pittsburgh. The turnovers just aren't there for New Orleans. And without them, they're just not a very good defense. And for that reason, New Orleans, you're dead to me. All right, well that about covers it for week eight, the Halloween edition. I would like to thank Reba, Cher, and the nondescript sailor girl we have here. If you have any questions or comments, you can hit me up at meanjohnnygreen at gmail.com. Otherwise, check out my week eight updated rankings at 963jackfm.com. Until next week, I'm Mean Johnny Green, urging you to live the fantasy.